Hello. All right. What I'm going to do right now is... Hello, hello, hello. All right. What I'm going to do right now is make this um, table and the image for the dining room. And I'm going to start with a plane here. F4 to turn on segments. G to get rid of the grid if you want to. And I'm going to right click on these to get rid of the uh, segments there. And I'm going to scale this so it takes on the dimensions of the image that I'm going to apply to it. Press A to turn on angle snap and start rotating this at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to press M. Set up the material to place on this plane. So I can use it for reference, scan line, standard, double click, right click, show shaded material in viewport. Click this button right here, add a bitmap, and now I'm going to cycle through and find the image that I want to apply to it. So let's see where that would be, desktop 2021. Here we go. And I'm going to see if I can fill as many words as possible into each sentence that I speak and do this quickly. Slam this on, see if this looks right. It looks a little out of proportion, so I'm going to right click scale that until I got a circle right here. That's a good point of reference. I'm going to move us off to the side, press G to see where I'm at in the grid, and move this up and about G again. All right, I'm going to make this table. This table is pretty easy, so I'm going to make it pretty easy. Start with basic proportions of the length of the top. I'm going to turn this into an edible poly, and I am going to now extrude the top slightly the thickness that this top is. So instead of 10, I'm going to try 2 and see what happens. That looks good. Maybe try 3. Press Enter and the check mark. And now I'm going to select a side, hold Shift, and then click another polygon on that side. I'm going to hit the Settings box next to Extrude. Click this button right here. Go to Local Normal. And again, I am doing this rather fast. That's because the people that are watching this on the video have the luxury of hitting pause every step of the process. So there shouldn't be any complaints of anybody saying that I'm doing this too quickly because you can hit pause. Um, all right, so now I'm going to do the base. And I'm going to basically just make some boxes like this for the feet. And I'm going to try to go with the right width first and then the height. Move the height down. I'm going to press U for orthographic view. And I'm going to just see if I can get the height right. I'm going to turn this into an edible poly. The easiest way for me to scale these is to go to 1, which is vertice mode. Again, every step of the process, you have the option of hitting pause or slowing the speed down in the YouTube video. So do that if you need to. All right, I'm going to get this about the height that I want it to be. And if you notice, the, notice the, the legs are angled. So they angle a little bit outside the width of the table. So from the side, I'm going to do that just a bit. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is line this up. And if you look at the picture, this is a little bit thicker than what I have here. So I'm going to press R, making sure that I have the very first scale option selected. And I'm going to scale to the right a bit and then readjust the positioning. If you look at the positioning of the legs, it's considerably about a foot inside of the table. So I'm going to move it there. And now I'm going to hold Shift and drag this here. Now we need to copy these over, but uh, if we copy them over, it'll look like this. We don't want that. Actually, we can go ahead and do that and just rotate them around 180 degrees. So I'm just going to do that it's the easiest way at this point. 180, stop there, and now I'm going to hide this picture. I'm going to select it, hide selection, and I'm going to select these two legs and then line them up accordingly. So they are about, this lines up in the midpoint of this foot, and this lines up in the midpoint of this foot right about now. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to right click, unhide all. And now I need these boxes here. So I'm just going to create a new box. Trying to keep it the same width and height as the picture. So I'm going to move that into position. I'm going to start by moving it into position from this view. And let's try to judge how high off the floor it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn this into an edible poly, and I'm going to adjust the vertices. And they look like they're okay. I don't need to adjust those. I'm just going to move them into place now. And here's where I need to adjust the vertices. 
So I'm going to one, I'm going to drag select this view, I'm an orthographic, that way when I drag select from this side, I'm selecting the front set of vertices and the back side of vertices. So if I do that, I can move this whole entire side in, and I'm going to do that here as well. And I'm going to press one to get out of vertice object. Have a good day, man. Congratulations again. And I'm going to hold shift and drag this over, making a copy. And I'm going to go in here and make sure that I line it up accordingly so it's inside of the box. And now what I need to do is you see that there's a line right here, on a, or a box right here, and a box right here, and probably a box in the middle giving it stability. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to take this box right here and hold shift and drag out a copy. And I'm going to rotate it now with angle snap on, that's A, or you can click this button right here. I'm going to rotate it standing up at 90 degrees, and I'm going to rotate it at 45 degrees this way. And I'm going to move it into place. I'm just guessing 45 degrees, it looks like that's what it is. And now what do I need to do? I'm going to rotate it back, control Z, and I'm going to scale this to be tall. Then I'm going to rotate it again at 45 degrees. So if you did what I did and you needed to redo it, just press Control Z and go back. I'm going to line this up in the middle the best I can and then move it up and then I'm going to go into vertice mode and well, no I'm not. What I'm going to do is select these two legs here. I'm going to right click on them, hide selection. I want to make sure that this thing is in and it is. And I need to cut this off at the base. So what I'm going to do is to convert this into an edible poly. I'm going to go into edge mode. I'm going to select these edges and now what I'm going to do is connect an edge and move it into the table. Whoops. This bottom edge. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to select these edges here. So I'm just going to drag select. I'm going to hit the settings box next to the word connect and I'm going to drag the bottom option until this line goes into the table and then I'm simply going to select these top vertices here. So I press 1, go into vertice mode, and press delete. So I'm going to press 1 again, I'm going to right click, I'm going to unhide all, and I'm going to make a copy of this. So what I'm going to do is hold shift and rotate it on this axis 90 degree, 180 degrees, sorry. And then simply I'm going to move it until it mes meshes inside of this box here. It looks like it's in there and it's in there. So if you wanted to get fancy, you could do some some beveling or some pro boolean here. Um, but I'm not going to do that. This is just a very simplified version of this table. If you did want to get fancy, you could always select these. If you look at the picture, they're slightly rotated. And I'm going to this at this point you're done with the table just put some materials on it and you're done but for the people that want to take it a little bit further I'm going to affect the pivot only and I'm going to move the pivot points of these two objects here to the base and I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to press E for rotate and I'm going to rotate them in slightly and then press 1 for vertice and I'm going to move this vertice back to the ground so it's flat and move it to the left a little bit to fill that in. And as you can see, it looks more like the picture. And then also, this part scales out of both sides of the leg. So what I would do is maybe do a pro boolean if you wanted, and then I would take this and rotate it on this axis 180 degrees and move it down. Whoops. And then back this way. Yeah, I just screwed that up. But what I would do is probably if I'm messing that up, I would just do it manually. Or what you can do is this, add a symmetry to it, so S, Y, M, click on that, and now I can open up the symmetry and mirror it, and f mirror it on this axis here. 
So it looks more like the picture. It needs a little bit of adjustment. And if I were going to spend much more time on this, I would uh, I would do some pro bullion to knock these notches in here. And I would probably chamfer the edges. But uh, that right there is, a, is good enough. So um, I'm going to stop the video there.